Welcome to the Sky at Night magazine podcast, your monthly dose of astronomy on demand. Welcome to the Sky at Night magazine vodcast. This month we're exploring extrasolar planets, worlds beyond our own solar system orbiting other stars. Now in the early 1990s, astronomers discovered planets 980 light years away orbiting a distant pulsar, an object that's formed when a massive star dies. But since then, systematic searches and observations have discovered over 300 extrasolar or exoplanets orbiting other stars. Today, astronomers are on the hunt for an Earth-like world, but along the way, they're making some fascinating discoveries about these far-off planets. The first planets, discovered in 1992 around a pulsar, are only a few times larger than Earth. But the majority of the world's astronomers have found to date are large, gaseous planets similar to Jupiter in our own solar system. Some orbit close to their parent stars, where their proximity has led them to becoming extremely hot. They're known as hot Jupiters. The extrasolar planet HD 189733b, here, is just such an example of a hot Jupiter. Now, since its discovery in 2005, astronomers have found all sorts of interesting things about it. For instance, it has water vapour in its atmosphere, and that if we could sit on its cloud tops as the star it orbits sets over the horizon, we'd actually see a beautiful red sunset, just like we do on Earth. But in order to find all these interesting things about extrasolar planets, you first have to find one. Astronomers can detect exoplanets in several different ways. One technique is to look at the light given off by distant stars. When it's split into spectra, scientists can tell which chemicals are present in the atmosphere. If lines in the spectra shift, it means there's an orbiting planet causing the star to wobble very slightly. This is called the radial velocity method. Another method detects planets by looking for dips in the star's brightness. These are caused when a planet passes in front of the star. It's a very effective way of finding exoplanets and is known as the transit method. When the passing light from a distant star is distorted by the gravity of a star and planet, telescopes can detect the distortion. This method has been used by the Hubble Space Telescope to spot suspected planets in globular clusters like M22 and is known as the gravitational lensing method of detection. More recently, the Hubble Space Telescope has directly observed a planet orbiting another star. In 2004 and 2006, Hubble observed the star Formaholt. By using a special type of mask known as a coronagraph, it was able to block the bright light from the star and observe the dusty disk around it. And it was within this disk that Hubble astronomers spied a world with a mass of no more than three times that of Jupiter. In September 2008, astronomers using the Gemini Observatory in Hawaii announced they'd taken the first image of a planet orbiting a sun-like star with a mass of about eight times that of Jupiter. Months later, the Gemini Observatory and the Keck Observatory announced that they had taken the first picture of a family of three planets around a star roughly 130 light years away. But the discovery of something truly like our own solar system still eludes astronomers. With future missions planned to look for even smaller extrasolar planets and perhaps even the signature of life in the light from these distant worlds, astronomers may soon find an Earth-like world orbiting in a solar system similar to our own. Plus, who knows what interesting worlds they'll find along the way. 
Well, that's about all for this month once again. In the April issue of Scar at Night magazine, you can get the definitive Lunar Observing Guide to the International Year of Astronomy's Moonwatch Week. Plus, we've got articles on the Lunar Reconnaissance Orbiter and Planck missions, and we'll also show you how to take amazing images of the solar system with your own equipment.